right, let's go see big old pyramid head. Access, I believe, is to the left. Right? No, nope, it was literally behind me. Now, let's see how we do this. That thing's on the other side of that. I mean, they've changed everything else up so far, so I'm not expecting anything else to be the same, because normally in the corner there would be a note about a patient. Which I am seeing no notes. they can go through the effort to recreate all this stuff, why can't they just put it in the game? I'm going to assume this is where I need to go. Yeah, the range started out. Yeah, this is so. This is so. We have the same note. Here as usual. Don't want to cause no trouble for anyone. <coughs> I'm gonna bother you today. Blah blah blah. blah. So I'm to run instead of fight. So. So that whole like to run instead of fight thing has always been, I think, a little bit of foreshadowing of what you're supposed to do at the end of the hospital. Because pyramid heads should chase you. That's don't fight, run. Came in today, he said that'll be really soon. So we go home, but I'm afraid of something's about to happen. I scout before, before the plunge. Deep down, I know it's too late to turn back. The worst part was like I was expecting it at the door at that comedic at that same comedic level and I'm like, that's not how it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to go out and like nope immediately. <laughs> it is like a pro wrestler picking up up. Oh 
my god. I'm giving another point to the original. It was better because you read the thing and then you are almost back to the door to go down. And then that's when you hear it. You hear him before you see him. This is just like, oh, I'm gonna go through the door. Cutscene. on top of the elevator that is stuck on the other side. Two bunnies and a wolf. I'm going to assume that she sees herself as the little bunny, Mary as the big bunny, and James as the big bad wolf. I'm assuming. Okay, buses. They say when you're uh, stocking up on items. Yep. Okay. In the off chance I get myself killed. So it's weird as, so from the outside, the door is barred. I mean, sure, it's probably rusted shut, but... <coughs> Alright. No, I wonder if they'll do a flashback for one of the old puzzles in here. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm sure they're doing it as a good gesture, but... To me, it comes off as just, we could have done it, but we're not. And I'm gonna say that every time I see it, because it's... That's exactly what it is. Yell at me if I don't? No. I won't, please, just... I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry. Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I've got to get. Laura. It's important. 
What is it? A letter. From Mary. What? I hid it. In there. an old pipe. Okay, well, wait here. Laura? Ha <laughs> ha! Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. It's the magic word. Laura! Nope, that's not it. I guess I won't open it. Get me out of here, you brat! Dreams, bark face. Uh, please open the door. There's something in here. Sure, there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face. Laura. Laura. <laughs> Before I start the fight, <clears throat> we'll talk about that stuff. One sec, we need to go. Yay, congestion. So, earlier I had made a video where I started breaking down the scene. Because a lot of the motivations and stuff seemed different. Uh, it looks like they had, again, with the scene with her in the uh, alleyway, they cut it down in the in the trailer this goes on a lot longer it flows very similarly now to the original um the only difference is her saying fart face like five times over <laughs> other than that with the full scene that we have now contextually it makes more sense so my previous rant about that scene uh, my complaints about it's now from like a 9 to like a 1. So, not too bad. On the downside, um, I did accidentally see part of this fight. And I'll get to it when it happens. Because I saw it and I was, I shook my head. Okay, here we go. Terminator stuff.
saw that made me shake my head. So, obviously if you're familiar with Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2 specifically, um, all these monsters are being drawn by a character's subconscious, and in this case, the Flesh Lips, its whole meaning is for James's guilt over seeing his wife in a certain way as she was in her deathbed, like, taken over by the disease. Like, this is the physical representation of how he felt when he saw what it, had, what it had done to her. It's like, okay, makes sense. You got, like, this uh, deformed figure inside of a cage. The cage is the bed, you know, trapped in the sickness in the hospital and all that stuff. My question is, what do the spider legs represent? Uh, like, okay, supposedly, yes, I know Masahiro Ito helped doing a lot of the redesigns and stuff, supposedly. I would like to assume that he had full creative control over this, but this doesn't look like his art style. This looks like the homecoming final boss, the spider mother, or whatever that thing was. Huh. And that's a, now it's a spider. The, the original design looked cool, it was symbolic. I don't know what the spider legs were supposed to symbolize. I, I, I don't know. James. Okay, the transition, I think, is an improvement on the original. Um, before, by the time you finish off the two flesh lips, um, James just kind of passes out, camera goes first person, and then he goes up to the ceiling, and then similar scene. Uh, 
something sucking him up makes more sense. Um, <clears throat> but I do like the uh, the transition from Mary's point of view of the hospital hallway ceiling, and then the other world, the flies and the lights and all that stuff. Um, I liked it. I think the transition back and forth between the two could have been better. Maybe like a real time change, not like the movie, but like maybe as you're going, it gets progressively worse. Regular lights, lights with flies, a couple tiles missing, you know, and then get to that point. But overall, I think that transition was pretty good. So see, I'll complain about one thing and I'll compliment another. It's just personal opinions. Now, as far as the other world in this, I have seen, from the stuff we have seen at least, um, I remember everything that I saw was very orange, again. I'm hoping that's not the case and we're not dealing with another homecoming other world, and we have something closer to what we saw in the original. But, I am not getting my hopes up. Because I'm already seeing orange. Because literally go back to any other world scene in Silent Hill 2. There's no orange. So far, they added another world to the hotel. Okay, fine. But it's orange. This is orange. There's no doubt in my mind. Once we hit the ho the uh, <coughs> the hotel, or, yeah, the apartments, yeah, but. Once we hit the hotel, there's no doubt in my mind it's going to be orange as well. It's all going to be orange. It's just... That stupid movie, ever since it came out, it's like ruined this entire franchise. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The other world in those games was not just unique to those games, but it was unique to each individual zone. Each zone had its own unique art style, its own unique themes, because it was like a warped version of that for the person who it was warped for. So it was their subconscious brought to life, not Freddy Krueger's other world. You know, it's not the boiler room everywhere 24 7. It drives me nuts. It's creatively bankrupt. It's lazy. Patient number 3141, designation 298.9, room number blank, visual synopsis, or visual symptoms, hyperfocus, is that me? <laughs> Current diagnosis, they can't be fixed, is that me? Recommendations, stop at nothing. We're turning back now. Where are we at? Okay, so we at least have, but we have to go get another map. So we are in the date room. Okay, so uh, I will give them credit. In the original, the garden was just a small square. It made no sense. I mean, <clears throat> granted, it, at that point it was the other world, but I digress. Um, they still at least managed to honor that. You have a little bit of grass, and that's it. explore one more time, I don't think, yeah, okay. Hey, they were nice enough to at least put the giant fan there. Okay, so we're not completely slapping everyone in the face. I 
if anything, it only makes it doesn't have that stupid nostalgia thing on it. Alright. Well, two of them left, which looks like it's going to lead to nowhere. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, the movie's Otherworld. Fuck you, Kristoff Gans. tangent when I was talking about um, doing stuff in uh, Hammer's SDK and before that Unreal Tournament's um, level editor for you know, Unreal Tournament 2004. I was originally went for that I was trying to make a, a, a level a, a catch the flag match in Brookhaven Hospital or not Brookhaven, um, Midwich Elementary and Obviously, there were parts that were just going to be, like, missing in the floor and stuff like that. And what I had turned them into <laughs> were just, uh, death pits. So there's a, uh, I had a 3D object set there, and then I had the properties to it set that if anyone went inside of it, it was an insta-kill. Used it for, like, fall deaths and stuff like that. So I had these really long tunnels that you could, if you bumped off the end or jumped off the end, you could get out. Yeah. never got that done. The reason it never got done was because, um, oh jeez, I don't want to go on a tangent about this. So the Unreal Editor, um, it was a subtractive build system. What that means is the entire geometry, like the entire empty space that you start out with, the system thinks of it as a solid. So you subtract from that, and then that's your playable area. Then you can add back into it, subtract again, and that's how you made your polygonal structures within the level editor. Um, downside was there was a polygon count that it would only go up to. Once you hit a certain point, that was all it would allow. <laughs> and I made the thing so detailed, it was too much. And once I went past that threshold, like there was actually like a counter, I think, somewhere on it, I think like in the bottom or something like that. It started glitching out the whole map. <laughs> and it was unrecoverable, unrecoverable unless I started deleting things perfectly. Because you didn't have individual pieces. Like if you were making like a trim around the floor, no, that was a permanent structure added into the geometry. It was weird how they did everything. It's one of the reasons I liked Hammer a lot more, was because you could build a wall geometry, and that would just be a block, you know, and then, you know, doorway be another one. But yeah, the Unreal Editor was very archaic for its time. Granted, that was 20 years ago. Alright, we, I don't even know what floor we're on. We're on one. Uh, I have nowhere in particular I want to go. We could try to go see Maria, who I want to say was in C5. Yeah, let's see if we can go two. But if it's if they're gonna try, what will happen is we'll go to her room. She'll be gone, but you'll hear host uh, hospital breathing, or like heavy, sick breathing, kind of like me. Right now. All right, this locked water fountain.
Okay, I remember seeing this in the, uh... In the trailer. Oh no, the sick man is now bubbling. Miracle. Sitting up on top of the computer. Well, probably should have used that. Say, were you trying to get in the window? Do you need assistance? All right, I'm lost. <clears throat> uh, it looks like a mystery room. Woman's locker room. No, it looks locked. Uh, it's locked. And it's locked too. Okay, we have stairs, so. You cannot go down. If anything, minus the drapings, this entire area looks more like Midwich Elementary. In terms of layout and uh, other world construction with the grading. But there's still glass in the other world. Thank <laughs> you. 
guess we're chasing chains again. before already. Never mind. I'm still following this chain, aren't I? When I complain about this aesthetic, I mean, that's not what I want. Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's not that it looks bad, it's just that 
in the original games, there's a, a, a wide range of uniqueness, even within the same game, but we're not seeing that here. I don't know if it's because of the movie's influence on everything, but in the original Silent Hill 2, the other worlds were varied and unique, even if you only did have two. For example, uh, the hotel in Silent Hill 2, the Otherworld version of it looked just like it was just in a flood. Like it had serious water damage, like mold, everything was still wet, like it was like the water had just ran out. And in fact, parts of it was still like, like partially flooded, mostly in the basement. Hands. This will be for the eye. For a lobotomy. Uh, doll is upstairs. Guess we'll hold back up. Tried using the sprint button. There is no sprint for ladders. Okay, out to the right. Okay, so keys blues. I'm assuming there's something blues, but we don't have any locked doors right now. It's possible that I overlooked something, so let's go back here. Just to make sure there's no doors.
go this way? But that was the original. I want all. That took me down to one. Okay. Level, I guess, took me up too. Yep, okay. So we're taking the stairs then. Shots. <sighs> so we moved here now. that puzzle to here. Oh, um, that's fine. <clears throat> that puzzle was supposed to be the one that more or less gets you to Laura to the other world, but it's not like it's there's any significance to it or any importance to it, so it doesn't matter if they change anything. We are dealing with more follow the chains. I don't know if this is like gamers are stupid, so make them follow a path. Here we are, following a path. <clears throat> I have two woes. Let's uh, follow this one.
this will follow this chain. yet. Looks like I'm going to need another hand. That's not going to open. So now we're getting some combo, some stuff. Oh. So we got that. <clears throat> okay, so six there. That goes. combination for our thing, 6, 7, and 2. Um, check out this real quick. Okay, so 1, 6, 7, 2. 1, 6, 7, 2.
so I gotta find my way back. Find my way back. Thanks for reminding me. One, so many pills they fed me. Six. Was that not seven? Light felt like flickers twice. So it's. One, six, seven, two. So too. apparently that's not right. Alright, well... Two, three, four, five, six. There are six pills. That's at seven. Change the seven into a two.
Still. Controlling where that chain is. Okay. Okay. 
I was hoping it was going to say something else, but okay. Why, this looks straight out of Homecoming. Oh, my God. 
<clears throat> this hospital zone is presented by Halls. Six five nine. Can I read it? No. Okay, so nine six five nine, I guess. We'll go with that. first and then I'll save again afterwards Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Minus one. 
Are we going to use this to uh, minus one our party? Like, <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it's an elevator key. Um, where is the elevator even at? Doesn't exist here. Doesn't exist there. Doesn't exist there. So we still have to find the elevator. Is there anything else around here that's still locked? No. Pharmacy is locked. Elevator beside it seems active. So let's go to floor one. Uh, not sure how we got there. So let's go back around to the steps. This is going to be a trek. I hope I'm going the right way. God damn, I'm already mixed up. Let's try this elevator first. That's the wrong quarter. Okay, that works. Have you got it all figured out? If 
so? Fantastic! <clears throat> the Tardies soon come to collect your prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong... Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness or in health. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, that originally what happened. What the hell was that? With Maria, and it was played like a radio game show. The guy was very expressive, though, so phoned in. I highly doubt they're gonna have any kind of optional content for us at this point. They don't expect me to answer this because I don't know or care. I'm gonna guess for ammo, which I could use ammo. How about I finish? It didn't even tell you where. Okay. <coughs> what even was? Take a health pack away from you. Here's a health pack. about eight hours of gameplay but I learned that if you open the button then you use the syringe.
so that's what we're going with this one. Controls no other pickups. <coughs> nope, very good. James. Mary. Oh. Maria, I thought. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? <laughs> what do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. You couldn't care less about me, could you? I just... Then stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. I... <laughs> so what about Laura? Under. Yeah, but she ran away. What? We have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... For some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Come on, let's go look for her. Okay, I, 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 I'm starting to think it has to be my nostalgia goggles because this acting is so bad. Like the deliver, like if I'm comparing it to the original, the lady that re that voiced Maria was so expressive and like so blunt when it came that I, I feel like his delivery was slightly off because he's like Mary and then oh no it's you well anyway and then she just jumps at him like down his throat with anyway what do you mean anyway this yeah like I said, it, it it feels like like a school play where the kids know the words, but they don't know the motivation and intent, and they're not delivering on that. James, the guy that does James, he's he's doing a pretty decent job. Um, like if I was to give it a grade right now, I'd say like a B. The guy doing Eddie, he's probably close to like an A. No, like, I know, like, in the past, people will, like, th complain and make fun of the acting in Silent Hill 1. Um, the guy that plays James, he's pretty weak. I'd give him, like, maybe a C to a B- minus in terms of the acting. But really the only standout in terms of character is the Angela character in, Silent in the original game. And it's hard to say if that's because... Like, that's how she was supposed to be. Like, that's how she was directed. Because she does have really good scenes. So it, I, I firmly think that's how she was directed. But it's the same with Angela in this game, too. It's... I wish that actress would have done what the guy that's playing Eddie is doing. And kind of do your own spin on it and make it your own. While still being true to the character. But this Maria, I, so far t for me, is the weakest link in the whole thing. She doesn't feel like Maria. Her, 
like every time there's a, a scene like this, she's delivering the lines that you would expect, but there's no like oomph behind it. Like when she said anyway, what do you mean anyway? It's like she didn't even care that he didn't care. I mean, in that scene too, I mean, he did do it as well as the original were. He's like, you know, Mary, oh, it's you. Well, anyway, you know, that is, that, that delivery right there is the complete dismissal of her. And that was what caused Mary and or Maria in the original to jump down his throat. So it is a play on the two. So I, I can't completely fault the actress for Maria here on this. But still, the scene as a whole is weak. <sighs> I did say I was going to rant a little bit here and there, so... <laughs> you were warned. Alright, continuing. Welcome back, Maria. I'm sure there's a refrigerator I need you to help me open up. somewhere new? Yeah. Well. <coughs> oh. Nightmarish de oh, These nightmarish delusions are brought to you by Halls. Whoops, wrong button. of that door speak. It doesn't sound like metal or anything. It sounds like a squeezing but like a like a squealing bug. pool every kid's fear <laughs> another photo they mustn't know Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Wasn't there originally a save point on that? guess it's gonna be a nostalgia thing right it's not gonna be an actual thing because there was no setup to it before you couldn't get to this beforehand or at least I don't think so maybe you could have I don't know and I just missed it oh okay Having trouble there? Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> Fine. cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. So, where to now? Come on. I think I know where those rings belong. It always seems like in the cutscenes that her head's too big for her body. Once I notice it, it, like, it bothers me. It doesn't seem bad here, but it's in the cutscenes. I don't know if it's in the animations. But it's weird. Maybe it's the jacket, I don't know. that was on second floor okay is there anywhere else I can go it looks like the entire Check one more time. Yeah, so I might have missed this in the entire. I might have actually missed this soon. That's a backtrack. Patience become dead. Patients will cut the diagnosis. Wait, the patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them. Oh. Is this broken? Patients will become the diagnosis.
that's yeah that made absolutely no sense She'll always come around one side of my chair, and when I go to pet her, she'll walk to the other. <laughs> Alright, where are we at? Um, and then we'll go what? down. Who's that? What? The paper. You've seen it a million times. <laughs> I mean, I, I get what they're doing here with, uh, <laughs> with, with James's face and all, because, like, in the original, it was like the paper was staring back at them and whatnot, but... It, it makes for some really awkward, funny moments. I know it makes it feel like it's uh, happening in real time and all that. But her in the background like that, that's... It is funny. It's a little funny. Especially doing the idle animations. Oh, let's read the puzzle first. She's an angel, no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. You cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like blood and ugly corpses, their sin, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. Okay. Guess I didn't read re re that. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. Meta narrative where Maria is in a loop. So once the game ends, she starts back over. It's like Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII Remake. He's going back in time to redo everything over again. It's the same thing. Watch. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. 
Okay, excuse me. It is done. Sick no more. Well, I'm still sick. Brought to you by Halls. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's keep going. I'll save after this, and then we'll call it a day after this part. Other world version of the hospital again still <sighs> okay so I'll say this um, the new take on that elevator scene um, in my personal opinion it is a little better um, I think the original was a little too drawn out especially since pyramid head was like right behind her at that point so that being so abrupt I, I to me I think it works better so I'll give this game props for that. It did, it got that better, in my personal opinion. Now, if this is anything like the original, the rest of this hospital should be a safe zone, and then we'll see Laura again. There is the front door, but technically, you 
go into this office. I'll save here for now. Um, I think we'll end it here too. Um, the sun's coming up, and uh, from this point on, if it is following along with the original game, uh, we will be leaving the hospital here within minutes. So, if that's going to be a whole new segment of gameplay to make our way to Rosewater Park and all that, uh, I'll save that for the next round. So, till then, see you in the next one.